Hi, I'm Alistair Ben and you're watching Expressive Photography. This week I want to focus on inspiration and how important it is to our personal development and growth and learning and photography and life. Um, so this week I'm going to be focusing on the art of a very good friend of mine, Mr. Guy Tal. Now, whatever it is we do in life, uh, we tend to be inspired by other people right at the beginning of our journey particularly, but this can be an ongoing process. When I first picked up the guitar back in, goodness me, 1970-something, uh, 78, I think, um, it was because I was inspired to do so by listening to bands like Pink Floyd and Rush uh, and Led Zeppelin and Black Sabbath and all of those kind of rock bands from the 70s uh, that made me want to pick up a guitar to, to be like that, to express myself in that way. And... 30 years later, when I picked up a camera again, having been a photographer when I was a kid, but picking up a camera as an adult, uh, I was inspired to do so mostly by the work of other photographers that I saw. Initially, it was bird photography uh, with people like Alan Murphy. It was a huge influence on my early bird uh, images. But when it came to landscapes, Guy Tal was such a massive inspiration to me. Uh, there was something about his work that was so inspiring, so beautiful, so aesthetic. And back in those days, I, I wasn't a particularly thoughtful photographer. I was a student. I was studying craft. I was studying technique. I was studying photography that I liked to try and understand what it was about it that I liked, really. And obviously over the last five or six years as I've become more of an educator and teaching other people how to find their creativity, I still, uh, I, I've discovered deeper uh, elements of Guy's work that maybe I wasn't aware of when I was younger. So let's just quickly jump onto Guy's website, talk a little bit about some of his work and that way we can understand what it is that really makes Guy one of the most uh, significant and influential photographers of the 21st century and certainly working today. You only have to go to Guy's homepage, uh, guytal.com, and the slideshow that, that, that confronts you is just image after image after image of beauty, uh, craft, uh, aesthetics, atmosphere, emotion. As an expressive photographer, every single one of them just resonates with me. Uh, there's, there's just a purity to Guy's work. Everything is so clean. It's beautifully presented. He has deep care for what he does. Everything that gets put online, every print, everything that, everything that ends up in a book, everything has been crafted to the highest order because he's a perfectionist. He's someone who is part of his nature to just care, not just for himself, but for you as a viewer and you as a consumer of his work. So the slideshow on his home page is just, it's a feast for the eyes. And I could sit and look at this all day because every time I see Guy's work, it's just inspirational you know and and this is what we're talking about today the importance of inspiration one of the key things is that we tend to gravitate towards things that that we feel represents us uh, i i am also quite uh, fastidious I'm, I'm quite precise about certain things i think about things a lot and one of the things about Guy is that not just is he an incredible photographer who has been doing this for so many years now that he's just fine-tuned everything that he does to such an incredible degree, he also writes deeper than anybody I've ever known. So what I really want to urge you uh, folks to do is go over to GuyTal.com, check into his images. I mean, the slideshow on the homepage is amazing. His back catalogue is incredible because he's been doing this for such a long time. But if we just look at his recent editions, you scroll through them. And the thing that really strikes me with Guy is this diversity of his style. Yes, he tends to photograph in one area of the United States. So many of the images have that sort of um, Western US feel to them, the color palette. There's a lot of warm tones in Guy's work. But equally, 
when winter comes around and when the the darker nights and the the more somber winter weather comes around he also goes into the deeper blues uh, and he also photographs an awful lot in black and white he just strikes me as a man who has the full spectrum of his emotions to play with the full spectrum of color luminosity tone contrast uh, at his disposal and i think that is the mark of a true craftsman is not being locked into one particular thing i can love his black and white work i can love his intimate scenes i can love his more grand vistas and incredible weather every nuance of the landscape is part of his creative and expressive palette so this is today's message really is what can we learn from someone like guy and the key thing is that don't limit yourself to tiny little avenues don't limit yourself to photographs that are only made in one style or in one uh, compositional arrangement you know don't limit yourself to photographs that are just on the rule of thirds don't limit yourself to photographs that have a diagonal leading line from the bottom left to the top right with the subjects placed on the third lines i can look at so many of guys images and if we just look at this one as an example now this is random i haven't planned this in advance nothing about this photograph is rules based the inspiration for guy when he touched the shutter of his camera and composed this scene were exactly the same things that I resonate with in the landscape. Luminosity, contrast, color, atmosphere, geometry. They are the five things. And we can see them in this photograph here. The luminosity of the snow on the tree boughs. The contrast between the darker bark. So we have tonal contrast, but also we have color contrast. We have cooler tones and warmer tones. That is also a type of contrast. So we've got luminosity, contrast, the color I've discussed, warmer tones, cooler tones. Nothing is overly saturated, but it feels rich. That is another lesson to be learned. We don't have to saturate our photographs up the yin yang to give impact because geometry here, that angularity of the tree, angularity brings dynamics. Everything is the volume control, contrast, color, luminosity, all of these things are just, it's a volume. It's a, it's a strong statement without being a loud statement. And atmosphere, it, it's curious with shots like this that there's no clouds or billowing mist or fog, but it's still atmospheric because atmosphere isn't just fog. Atmosphere is also the feel and the mood of this photograph. There's a kind of, juxtaposition between a somber winter where everything feels dead and somehow in in uh, in a state of rest or or decline almost but the richness of the color tones left over from the previous autumn bring this sense of joy and happiness and a relief that there's hope around the corner these five triggers that I talk about so often and I've written about so much in my ebooks, Luminosity Contrast, The Color of Meaning and Creativity Superpowers, those three books encapsulate everything that I see in Guy's work. And I th I'm sure that looking at Guy's work over the decades has really helped me to understand how photographs and the real world they're not the same, but we use we, we engage with them in an, an emotionally similar way. So I would strongly urge you uh, to get on into Guy's website and study the work of someone who really understands how to put images together, how to represent the world um, and how to be expressive at the same time. I'm just going to use this photograph as another example luminosity in the pine needles covered in frost that is a luminosity there's also a luminosity to the tree uh, trunks there the contrast again we have tonal contrast nothing here is super dark there's no there's no blacks in this photograph there are shadows but they're not really black they're sort of dark mid-tones so this is a very mid-tone image but it feels full of contrast 
We don't have to put every slider up to 100. We don't have to push every slider to the max to, to shout. Guy has a quiet voice. When you speak to him, and I would urge you to check out the Vision and Light episode where I talk to Guy, he has a quiet, thoughtful manner and his images have a quiet, thoughtful manner. They make quiet statements to those people who are prepared to listen and invest time and their own energy into their own development to hear the whispers that Guy is trying to communicate to us. Luminosity of the trunks there, the contrast between the warm tones and the cool tones, but it mostly mid-tones and light highlights. The color contrast here is incredible between the warm uh, trunks of the pines and the cooler tones of the frosty branches there. Um, the atmosphere, this is loaded with atmosphere. There's some shallow depth of field, there is some fog in the back there, round, of, you know, round about the tree trunks at the back. But again, the mood is being set by the contrast, the very low contrast is an atmospheric element. It makes it feel more foggy. Um, and the color palette there, somber yet still hopeful. Uh, and of course the geometry here, we've got all of these very linear tree trunks there, but there's slight angles in there. And then it's juxtaposed by this very curvy and very sensual arrangement of the pine uh, needles and the branches there. I just think this is a masterclass. It's a complete masterclass of an image. And I, I, I hope when I grow up, I can start to make photographs like this. I've been trying for 20 years to, to see the world the way that Guy does. Uh, or to present the world in the way that Guy does. And, and I think there's, there's an insecurity in me still, uh, even though I'm 55 years old, there's an insecurity that I need to shout a little bit uh, to be heard. You know, maybe there's a, just, well, yeah, maybe I am just a little bit insecure, uh, but Guy just seems so confident about his artistic statements. So really uh, check out Guy's work, go to his website, buy a print. We have one on our wall in the house here. We bought a print last year from Guy. Um, and his books are also incredible. Dive into his writing. Also check out the On Landscape uh, monthly subscription website where you can go and Guy is a regular contributor there. Follow Guy on social media. Check out his work. I mean, Guy has been an inspiration to me for over 20 years and uh, continues to be an inspiration to me. So um, even though we have to find our own path, we can stand on the shoulders of giants. We can look at people who not just produce beautiful aesthetics, but they care for the environment as well. Everything that Guy does is focused on conservation, environmentalism, understanding that the landscape is a precious resource that needs us to look after it. So please give Guy some love, check out his work, deep dive into his images and understand how you can perhaps take some of the ethos that he brings to his work and his relationship with the landscape, his emotional spectrum, using a quiet voice instead of a loud voice, all of those things are incredible things to take from Guy's work. It's an honor for me to call Guy a friend um, and really you would be doing yourself a monumental favor to check out Guy's work some more. Thank you very much for watching. I really wanted to get out of the field uh, in this episode, we've been away for a couple of weeks now. We had a big period where we had no internet. Uh, we're back now for quite a few weeks and I look forward to bringing you some more educational content where we're going to be diving deep into how to understand the landscape, um, how to interact with it, how to see it better, how to make better photographs. Uh, so you can look forward to some more content that's going to be coming your way over the coming weeks. Uh, but also I am going to be checking out some of the new equipment I've been using for the last five or six months, including my tablet uh, and a few other little bits and bobs that I would like to talk to you about. So maybe midweek we can look at that. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, please check out Guy Tal's work. All the links are going to be below in the description. And of course, if you like the channel, 
thumbs up and a subscribe is really beneficial. So thank you very much for watching. Take care wherever you are, be safe and be creative. Thank you very much, bye.